Iris enjoys her work at Fafakwa Quarry. She has explored every sinew and knows the quarry very well. When she was new, Mavis was encouraged to talk to the quarrymen and learn from their experiences. But her driver warned her not to ask about the engine who had previously worked at the quarry. Why? What oh. happened? Never you mind. Bad things happen to those who tell the story. What sort of bad things are we talking about? You don't want to know. Now come along. We have to get the next stone train ready to go down to Farquhar. Um, okay then. Mavis thought it best to remain in the dark. But there was someone who did know the story. Thomas. Weesh! <laughs> Don't be frightened, Thomas. It's only me. How entertaining you are. Yes, I thought so. <sighs> when will this tedium end? You always get jumpy at this time of year. You should know by now I'm not a ghost. Thomas just glared at Percy. I hate to see how scared you'd really be if you really saw a ghost. Not as scared as you if you knew what was up at Farquhar Quarry. Thomas, I'd keep quiet if I were you. Oh? Well, what is it? Tell me. Go on, Thomas. Tell me. Don't you dare. Oh, go on. Thomas looked at Toby. What's the worst that could happen? Long ago, before Mavis arrived, there was a little engine who used to work at Farquhar Quarry. I can't remember what he was called. He wasn't there long when I first worked on the branch line. A quarryman decided to take charge of the engine while his crew were away. He drove the engine straight down a shaft. The quarryman jumped clear. There was a loud rumbling sound from inside the shaft. The men ran across the hill, but it was too late. The shaft collapsed and buried the little engine alive. He was never found again, but from time to time, he's been seen wandering around the quarry, looking for the quarryman who sealed his fate. Scared? No, 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 not at all. And he rode sheepishly away. <laughs> Worked like a charm. That'll get him off my bunker for a while. Toby said nothing more as he watched Thomas leave to collect his passenger train, all the while giving him a cold look. For the rest of the day, Percy couldn't help but think about Thomas's story. It can't be real! It just can't be! But he couldn't convince himself otherwise. Meanwhile, Thomas felt very pleased with himself. Careful the ghost doesn't get you, Percy! <laughs> Toby was cross. You shouldn't take any notice of Thomas. He's just being his usual cheeky self. Maybe, maybe not. But what if it's real? It's not. It's just a story. That's all. Percy took Toby's words into account. But all the same, he decided to talk to Mavis about it. A ghost? Mm, not that I know of. I've worked here for years now and never seen or heard of a ghost. See? I told you not to listen to Thomas. But it sounded so real! And such a horrible way to go. Imagine the pain and the horror. No wonder it would haunt the quarry. Are you sure, Mavis, that there isn't a ghost? Um, no. There's... there's nothing at all. If... if there was, I... I'd have seen it. Why do you ask? Just... just curious is all. Percy, while feeling a little reassured, wasn't quite convinced. He would look at the shaft 
where the little engine disappeared. Unbeknownst to Percy, Mavis was noticing strange things happening in the quarry. The truck seemed on edge as they were slowly pushed into different places, seemingly on their own. The air grew colder, and a heavy feeling seemed to linger around the yard. Something isn't right. What isn't right? Haven't you seen anything out of the ordinary lately? No, not really. Why? Oh, no reason. Just wondering if the trucks were out of order, or if there were signs of rock falls lately. But I guess I'm just imagining things. Right. Well, you can always tell me if something is on your mind. You know that, right? Right. Of, of course. Anyway, let's get Toby's next stone train ready. He'll be here soon. Meanwhile, Thomas was enjoying having the upper hand. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Oh. I... I see. Um, Percy? Thomas had to leave early. So you'll be taking Annie and Clarabelle today. Is Thomas all right? Yes, he's fine. Don't worry about him. Now, hurry along. Don't be late. So Percy did as he was told, albeit confused. Toby found Thomas hiding in the yard amongst the trucks. He looked very shaken up. I told you not to tell the story, but you wouldn't listen. Thomas said nothing. Although, you forgot one important part of the story. Whoever tells the story of the quarry engine in full is visited by the ghost himself. You were lucky. Must be because you're an engine. Why? How come you know of the story? I was told by a quarryman. He was never heard from again. Maybe next time it would be wise to be as silent as the grave. Thomas vowed never to speak of the story again. Both he and Percy made amends later that day and became friends again, though they were silent for some time afterwards. Mavis continues her work at the quarry with no ghostly interruptions. However, she and the other engines of the Fafakwa branch are more wary whenever they get anywhere near the mine shaft now. And for good reason. For whomever tells the ghost story will surely receive a visit from the quarry engine.